Hello, <clears throat> this is Neville with today's daily devotional from Summit Church of Christ in Cold Spring, Kentucky. Warning when walking in the way. I sometimes think that the Bible should come with a warning label. New seeker, beware. The price you are about to pay may be more than you can afford. When the gospel is being presented to you, you might feel as if you are in the midst of a bait-and-switch experience. On the one hand, you come running to Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life, because you're told that there is no other path to follow to the Father. And this is the truth. And soon after your baptism, your world seems to make sense. There is no more guilt, and there, there is this amazing peace that transcends all understanding. It just descends upon you. However, you soon discover that the way of the cross demands real sacrifice. It's as if you start going back to your old ways of thinking. The world seems to encroach just one little step at a time. In Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 we realize, And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my name's sake will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. The context here is a young rich ruler that came running to Jesus, excited, wanted to know about eternal life, and he told Jesus all that he did, and Jesus said, one more thing you still need to do. Go and sell all that you have, distribute it amongst the poor, and come follow me. And we know that this young man couldn't do this because he was very wealthy, and so he, he leaves kind of sad. And the disciples look at this and they are astonished. And they want to know, how can anybody then make it into the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus says it's more difficult for a camel to enter into the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. But with God all things are possible, with man not, in other words. And Peter says, well, we have left everything to follow you. And that is when Jesus says, yes, you have, Peter, and you, you're you going to be okay. In fact, it even tells them that they will be part of the ruling uh, position. Continuing then with the reading here of the Devo, it is at this time that you must make a choice. Either you allow Jesus to unsettle you, or you return to your old habits and ways of thinking. This latter path is more comfortable, convenient, and cautious. You might even rationalize in your mind that following Jesus down a blind path that requires a tremendous amount of faith, why this is too high a price to pay. And so Jesus who was your Lord, in your mind you now justify him. You justify your actions by labeling, labeling him as a lunatic and a liar. And you may say, Neville, I don't do that. But listen, look at your actions. Your eyes become dry, your heart becomes cold, and your prayer cease. He's not your Lord anymore. However, friend, listen to this challenge. Walking in the way is not for everyone. However, if you will return to Him today, you will find that along with this risk, this unsettling that Christianity demands, along with this risk comes comfort and strength and peace beyond understanding. Friend, are you ready to give up control? If yes, then let go and let God.